Hi guys, Clifford here with uh, another quick cricketing review for you today. Been a little bit of time between uh, between videos, but back at you with uh, with another cricket cricket review today. Today I'm actually doing a review on two pairs of gloves. They look a bit different, but they're actually the same set of gloves, just 12 months apart. Uh, as a lot, most of you may have seen my other videos, I was lucky enough to do a trip to, to India last year in 2013, and while I was there, I was able to, to pick up essentially two uh, full sets of, of kit. The majority of that was from, uh, from SG. So today I'm looking at the two sets of gloves that I got over in India from different shops, and like I said, they're the same glove but 12 months apart. So these are the SG Highlight gloves, and uh, so let's get straight into it. The first set that I'll, I'll show you is actually the 2012 season sets of highlights. And the way, these are fairly easy to, to tell apart between these set of gloves and the, uh, the 2013, because one set has, um, has the distinctly red, and the other set is, has gone gold. Now, I'll do the, the review on the 2012 set first. Uh, first of all, these are, are close to the highest protection gloves that you can get from, from SG in the split finger design. Now these have a, an interlocking split finger uh, design that are quite, quite pointed. Uh, each one of the fingers, like I said, they are the, um, the highest level of protection in the split finger design. So each one of the fingers actually has the, uh, the reinforcing um, um, plastic material in every single finger on both the, uh, the, the top hand and the bottom hand as well. Two piece uh, um, thumb design and it's also got the, uh, the two pieces of um, or, or, or the, the uh, plastic protection in there as well. The, uh, the side um, protection on, on both the, um, the bottom and the top hand. Now because these are actually the, um, the higher uh, end uh, gloves from, um, from SG, these ones actually do have um, uh, the, the sheep leather um, palm and the sheep leather actually is a little bit softer and lasts a little bit longer. These particular gloves, um, I, um, I am actually getting rid of these gloves and the only reason for that is, uh, well both sets of gloves is because of the split finger design um, and you will have seen from one of my other videos uh, I'm, I'm using the, uh, the SG RSD um, super light gloves. Uh, which are the sausage uh, finger design. So I'm actually going to, to get rid of these these gloves and actually get another pair of um, of, of the super lights or um, or the um, or the dazzlers probably um, um, from the, from the SG range. Uh, overall, um, these are these are fairly flexible gloves. They are for the 2012 make glove. They are um, uh, like the like my um, my other set of gloves. They are a slightly small make. So if you are a guy with um, with big hands. I'd stay clear of the 2012 version of the, of the highlights um, because they, they are a smaller, uh, a smaller make. Still a, a sensational pair of gloves. Um, I found them a little bit stiff and, and in fact you can see there that they are, um, even though they're a flexible design, they, do, um, they are fairly uh, rigid um, because of that interlocking, um, interlocking um, finger. So I did actually find them fairly, fairly rigid, whereas with, the, um, with the, um, the sausage fingers I found, once you actually wore them in, they hold that. These I didn't find, uh, didn't find that same way. Moving on to the 2013 version. Now, as with all the 2013 versions of the SG glove, you can pick those guys out. With this case, it's fairly obvious because they have actually changed colours in the same way that the, the Dazzler has. But um, on the SG gloves for the 2013 model, you will see this, um, this silver and, uh, and, and the black mesh uh, over sort of the knuckle region on, um, on both, both gloves. And that's how you can pick out the, the 2013 gloves. So moving into these guys, uh, I actually like these, um, these gloves and that's why I actually wore them at the beginning of, of the 2013-14 season um, for, um, for a couple of weeks. Um, I like these a lot more than the other gloves. Look, one of the big reasons for that is, uh, and you can see the, see the difference when I hold them up, I've used them both for about the same amount of time actual batting wise. So that one's still very straight, but that one's actually got a, got a nice curve in the, in the, in the actual glove itself. Um, a lot more flexibility in the, in the glove, and so if you're looking for a glove that gives you that flexibility, but still gives you the protection, then these are definitely a, a, a glove for you. Again, the reinforcing plastic on every one of the fingers on, on both the, um, the top and the bottom hand. Two-piece thumb with, uh, with the reinforcing there as well. Protection on the side of the bottom hand as well as the side of the, uh, of the top hand. And again, with the, um, with the sheep palm um, uh, leather, um, making them uh, actually last, giving them a little bit more durability. 
These guys, however, the 2013 highlights, I haven't found, well, these ones are a slightly bigger make. So if you're a guy that has, do have uh, a little bit um, uh, bigger hands, these are definitely a set of gloves that um, would, would definitely um, work well for you. I did find with these gloves that um, are, they were slightly too big for me. Even though I'm a fairly big guy, I don't have extremely big hands. Um, and I do like a, a nice snug fit in my gloves because I don't wear inners. Um, and, um, and so I do, you know, I, I do like that tight fit. Um, so, look, overall, um, I, these are, the, the gloves are sensational. I highly recommend them to anybody. The only, like I said, the only reason that I'm parting with them is due to the fact that they are the, uh, um, they are the split finger design uh, and the, the glove that I've used for the majority of the season are the, are the sausage finger design. Um, so, look, overall, um, uh, sensational, sensational gloves. Uh, if you don't have any questions about them, any, any direct questions, uh, as always, don't, uh, don't hesitate and put them down in the comments bar, um, along with any other, other questions or comments. Um, Alright guys, we'll catch you next time.